Hi, my name is Roshi. I'm Rohan. I'm Kathan. I'm Shrey. And this is our UB the Chemist video on the concepts of space. We hope you enjoy. Each of the four states of matter has chemical properties that we can observe and study on Earth and outer space. Solids are usually found in stars, interstellar dust, and natural debris. They are compact and are important in identifying composition and properties, including the melting point of objects. If the heat added to a solid reaches its melting point, the solid will melt into a liquid. Liquids are quite scarce in space, but their properties are very important. Their particles move freely but stick near each other, sort of like a midpoint between solids and gases. The viscosity or resistance of flow of a substance is used to determine if the substance is fluid, and the surface tension of a liquid shows the uh, demonstration of multiple forces. Liquids make up various mixtures and therefore are a crucial component of stars. Perhaps the most significant property of a liquid is its ability to have its volume measured. If we add more heat to the liquid, the volume increases and vaporization occurs, forming gases which are slightly more common in space than a liquid. The most abundant gases in space are hydrogen and helium. Gas pressure shows the energy within the gas and possibly around a star. Add extreme heat to the gases and through ionization we have plasma. Making up 99% of the universe, plasmas are known to be extremely volatile, especially with their energy induced composition. They are even more spread out than gas and move much more rapidly. They do not have a fixed shape or composition, but they play an extremely important role in identifying elements across space. We have no idea what 95% of space is except for the fact that it exists. But states of matter have been essential to our understanding of this vast vacuum around us. Hydrogen, the most abundant element in space, stands out as a great example. Through our understanding of plasma, we have deciphered that stars have a large percentage of hydrogen. In addition, experiments have shown that ionized plasma is released when stars separate. We have observed that the form of hydrogen varies between each state of matter in space, which contributes to the fact that matter is different everywhere in space. Studying the states of matter in outer space is crucial to augmenting the Earth's technology. This can be shown by studying liquid and microgravity, which can further space exploration and human technology. An example of this is boiling water, which can be studied much better in an environment without gravity because of the absence of convection and buoyancy. Boiling is a form of heat transfer used in many modern engineering systems, and enhancing our knowledge of it would in turn further many systems we use today. Right now, space is very mysterious, but if we keep gaining knowledge about states of matter, we can unlock and understand more about it. There are a multitude of important space phenomena, and the three explained are very significant. The first phenomenon is space tornadoes. Space tornadoes are formed using this plasma state of matter. These powerful tornadoes greatly surpass the ones on Earth. Plasma space tornadoes can damage satellites and endanger astronaut health. The next phenomenon is star death. Stars are solid states of matter. All stars will eventually run out of hydrogen fuel and die. While most stars quietly fade away, some, like the sun, are supernovas and destroy themselves in a huge explosion emitting energy. When stars die, they can sometimes form black holes. Black holes are cosmic bodies of intense gravity from which even light cannot escape. They are famous for sucking in everything in their path. Bose-Einstein condensates are the form of matter best representing a black hole, as using this form of matter in a lab recreates the atmosphere in a black hole. One of the most interesting professions related to space is a plasma physicist. A space plasma physicist designs exploration spacecrafts and conducts experiments to figure out what gases newly discovered stars are made of. They have a detailed understanding of the physics of atmospheric entry plasmas and they study ways to create fusion reactors that could lead to a future source of energy. In order to pursue this profession, you must acquire a master's degree followed by a PhD in physics or aerospace engineering. One great cause to do that is MIT. To stimulate some of the experiments these ex physicists do on a daily basis, we have planned out an experiment regarding identifying stars with plasma. Here we are measuring the true colors of the two most abundant gases in space, helium and hydrogen. First helium, using the spectroscope, which splits the golden light into different wavelengths and results in the visibility of the true colors. The true colors will remain the same for each element and through these colors, we can identify the composition of stars. Next we have hydrogen, with the same concept, but the plasma glowing in purple. We can once again see those true colors of the elements in their superheated plasma form. The plasmas help us figure out the composition of stars and they are important because they help us understand the history, properties, and evolution of the galaxy. Our exploration of the states of matter enables us to connect and truly appreciate the universe around us.